Hello everybody, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. So today I am going to talk to you about Inktober. Let's see, I have done a few sketches. I'm trying to get to them. So I have, man, there we go. I have this pineapple. Now this was done before uh, actual October 1st, but I wanted to share these with you because this is when I was trying to decide what I was gonna do for Inktober, if I was gonna actually participate, if I was gonna um, do watercolor, or if I was just gonna stick with black and white. And I think I'm just gonna let it flow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I am going to kind of be just drawing when I can. And um, if that means that I get a whole spread done in one day, fantastic. Like yesterday, October 1st, I did this and I did this. So, you know, some days I'll probably get a lot done and then other days I probably won't sketch at all. And you know what? For me, that's gonna just be how it's gonna be because I have, I mean, I've got kids that are under four, two under four and most of you know how crazy that can be. So some days I'm gonna get something done, some days I'm not and that's okay. But what I kinda wanted to do today was just hang out with you guys sketch a little bit and you know I don't know throw some music on to the background and uh, just kind of see where this goes really I do draw everything out first uh, well I shouldn't say everything if it's detailed like this root and I know that I want shading to be in certain spots then I actually shade it with a pencil but like this leaf, I didn't do that. And um, I'm, I'm not sure since it's gonna be in the background, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it detailed. Maybe this is the one thing that is painted and then the rest is in color. I kinda wanted to play, sorry, all the rest is in black and white. I kinda just wanted to play with what's gonna stay black and white, what's gonna be in color. Um, I've been influenced by a few Instagram artists and I can link them in the description box. One in particular, she um, sometimes does her illustrations with like black and white, whatever she uses, I'm not sure what she uses, but she does it in black and white and then she picks just a few things to be painted and I think that's what I'm gonna do here with the dandelion. Now, with the dandelion, this is actually a, um, they called it Flotober, I think. It was, um, it was put on by, or it was kind of like made up by Lori from, I'll have their, all their Instagram names in the description box, but Lori from Instagram, Babette, and Maria, I think, is the three people that kind of like did it up. And I told them that I will be, I don't know, kind of following along. Like if I want to draw that that day, then I will. If I don't, then I'll find something else. This apple here, the apple and the arugula I drew because these are uh, fruits and vegetables that are in season at the moment here in the in my neck of the woods. So um, Southwest, I guess is, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle, but I just chose Southwest. So um, even though I'm like, whatever, Colorado's, whatever. Anyway, I'm just kind of going through those. It gives me something to draw. I love to draw anything outside. So fruit, vegetables, plants. I like all the things, so all those kinds of things. So um, I thought if I wanted to, I could just pop onto that website, figure out what fruits or vegetable was in season and then draw that. Or I could stick to the um, Flotober um, and do what they're doing, which is flowers, which is kind of like a, um, I want I don't want to say cop out for me, but you know what I mean? Like it's something I would do most likely. So, um, anyway, to get moving here, we're just going to sketch and that's, that's what we're doing today. As far as Inktober goes, like I said, I am just winging it. Um, what I get is what I get and I'm not going to pressure myself or I want to push myself but I'm not going to pressure myself so there's that.
So as of right now, as of October 3rd, I am really enjoying Inktober. Um, I think it might be just because I'm really loving the ballpoint pen. I have been for quite some time now, I know. And maybe a few of you are sick of it, but um, that's okay because I really like it. And I think that if you enjoy something, then you do it over and over and over and over a million times. It doesn't matter because it's going to be something that you love. So you're going to, um, you're going to get joy out of it. You're going to like it. So, um, at the moment I have my three sketches, um, and I'm liking it. We'll see how far this continues. Like I said, I'm following a couple different ones or not following anything at all. It just depends on what I want to draw that day. I'm not trying to make this strict on myself because I feel like if it's strict, then I'm not going to want to do it. And I do want to do it. Now, with that being said, um, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with this size. I have said before that the B6 slim or B6 size, just B anything bigger than the field notes is um, daunting to me, uh, the bigger page. But um, I'm getting quicker with the ballpoint pen and so my illustrations are going quicker, so that's always good. And But I'm excited, I'm excited to move back to the field notes. That's where I'm going to go after this journal. I do miss it a lot, um, the portability, the size, everything about it. And I got a new cover. I love my stag, but I got a new folio cover from Sojourner that I'm excited to show you guys as well once I get started. So um, I'm loving this right now and I don't feel overwhelmed. And I, I mean, as of, as of right now, it's working. So until next time, everybody, I'll see ya. Oh, and let me know what you think about the camera angle. I have had a couple comments on it and people do like it. And let me know if you like the switching of the camera angles because, um, yeah, that's something I can easily do. All right. Until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.